Right now, a lot of historical parallels are being brought into what's happening with Donald Trump right now. Now, I can't speak to this because I wasn't alive at the time, but everyone keeps complaining, comparing this to Richard Nixon. Now, I have to respectfully disagree. Richard Nixon did commit a crime, and he was in the hair's breadth of being punished for it. Only he resigned before an escaped punishment before or the, um, the bulls got to him. I think the closest I came in my 30 year, 39 years of life was probably Bill Clinton. Now, mind you, what he did wasn't criminal. The guy cheated on his wife. He had sex in the Oval Office. He lied to the country about it. That's one thing. So I haven't been where everyone is at this point in time, but hell, I haven't even been close. And to be honest with you, the way Donald Trump supporters have been acting, they are in a terrible, terrible, terrible position. They are still supporting a man who, who's been confirmed to steal classified documents, taking classified documents out of the White House and took them into Mar-a-Lago to an unsecure location. And obviously, the evidence supported this. And now you've got site clowns like Sebastian Gorka saying this is state-sanctioned burglary. Now, that's really from his, um, from Donald Trump's True Social. Donald Trump retruthed it and put Sebastian Gorka's name under it. Anyway, they're in a very, we're in a very tight situation here. A man who has taken classified papers and actually, <laughs> actually thought he could get away with it because his lawyers Say lawyers and people around him say, you can get away with this. It's not illegal. You were the former press. I'm sure someone, I'm sure somebody was in Richard Nixon's ear saying the same thing. You're the president of the United States. You can get away with anything you want because you're the former, you're the president of the United States and the law can't touch you. Now, the law was about to touch Richard Nixon badly. And quite honestly, and let's get something straight on something right now. Nixon wasn't impeached, impeached because of um, Watergate. He didn't leave office because of it. The Democrats controlled both houses of the Senate and Congress at any time. They could have impeached the son of a bitch any time. He left office because the Republican Party, who Republican members who were up for re-election said that not only is he going to be impeached because of Watergate, that they would take the Republican Party down with them and they were not allowing, not going to allow that to happen. It's too bad that the Republican Party isn't going to do the same thing now against Donald Trump because they know Donald Trump is a threat. They know Donald Trump is guilty. But as I said before, the historical parallels for, between Trump and Richard Nixon, they are close, but not that close. Nixon knew what he was doing was wrong because every member of the Republican Party said he did. Donald Trump doesn't know he did anything wrong because everybody around him, from his lawyers, from members of Congress, members of the Senate, all the way to the Trump supporters who are still, to this day, threatening the FBI and law enforcement, members of the, members of um, judges and everyone else that goes against Donald Trump are telling Donald Trump, you didn't do anything wrong. So why should you be punished? Donald Trump is going to be punished, if, if not for this, than for all, all the five other crap storms I explained in the previous video. Not the least of which was the phone call to the Georgia Secretary of State asking him to rig the election to find him votes that will swing the election back to Trump. One way or another, Trump is going to pay for the crap that he's done. And this stall tactic of the judge appointing a, a special master, praying that somehow she'll take months, maybe even years to look through all the documents, and then in the wild, Donald Trump, unquote, uh, supposedly 
declares the 2020 for the 2024 presidential run, which probably shouldn't happen. It's not going to work, Trump. You're worse than Nixon at this point. And yeah, I said, Donald Trump is 10 times worse than Nixon. If any in the historical parallels for that is not even accurate. He's worse than Nixon. He's worse than Andrew Johnson. He's worse than, I'm sorry, Andrew Jackson. He's worse than all the worst politicians in this country. If there's anyone that he can, and then obviously everyone's drawing that connection between him and Adolf Hitler, considering the fact that Hitler lashed out at his generals at the end in the Second World War, just before Hitler committed suicide, while Germany, while Berlin was being completely um, surrounded. If anyone, if any historical parallels between Trump and a historical figure can be made, it has to be the first Roman century in the century leader Nero, the, the, lead, the Roman leader who burnt down Rome. Donald Trump is slowly burning down the United States of America and he's using his empty-headed supporters to do it. So, actually, I think he's getting pat. He's only steps away from being past Nero, as he as his Trump as his supporters continuously threaten FBI agents, all for the sake of Donald Trump, all for the sake of saying that he's being persecuted by the FBI, that. He doesn't trust the FBI anymore. He was the president of the United States. Even saying that makes me sick. You're telling me that you, as the chief executive of this country, as the, excuse me, the former chief executive of this country, didn't trust the people that you were in charge of? It's not because they were working against you, regardless of how many conspiracy theories Sebastian Gorka or so many others on True Social want to throw out. Is because you lost an election for the first time in your life. Well, actually, in your in your brain, you were a loser, and Donald Trump can't take losing. Donald Trump is going to hang for what he's done, figuratively, if not literally, if not literally. And these stall tactics, these screams for for calling the FBI and the DOJ hideous monsters. All they're going to do, all they've done to this point, has shown that Donald Trump is a loser. That he will continue to be a loser. It's time for us to. It's time for us to understand that. And it's time for Donald Trump supporters to understand that fact. Trump is going to prison one way or another. If not prison, he may actually kill himself just to, just to keep the news about him and in his own way. But when you try to make comparis historical comparisons between Trump and Nixon, it doesn't work. Because right now, as of this moment, Donald Trump is worse than Richard Nixon. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.